Kipper and Shane from HighRinse.com. And I had on an old video uh, talking about cleaning jets and stuff, I had one of you uh, fans at Dennis here uh, comment about uh, his method or idea for cleaning out these small plugged uh, jets. So I got this a long time ago. I apologize, but I am I am back and working in the shop. So I want to go ahead and open this up and see what he was thinking. I remember him telling me, but to be honest, it's been so long I forgot what it was. Hey, before we jump into uh, the fan's idea, what he was referencing, where this idea came from, was this video that we had did uh, last year on how we clean jets. So I'm going to put a link in that below. Um, this is definitely still a method that we'd need for the smaller jet. But his, his idea is pretty cool. I think you're going to enjoy the video anyway. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, yeah. I remember this now. Tattoo needles. Well, let's see. <laughs> That's kind of a grand idea. Let's uh, let's take a look and see. This one here is a pretty small jet. Ooh, she might just be really plugged up. Spray a little more carb cleaner through it. I got the smallest one here. Man, I love the idea. Unfortunately, in this case, it's just even the smallest one is just a little too big. But, you know, I can imagine here, let me just grab a different jet. Let's just try a different one here. That's pretty cool. You could definitely uh, definitely do that for the right sizes. But for this small pilot jet, like I said, I don't want to force or give that uh, too much push through there. The risk we, we have with anything is are we by accident enlarging that hole? So if you saw my original video, I had this little guy and this is just a wire out of a wire brush. And a lot of people, uh, you know, struggle with this where they're like, oh no, it has to be brass. And that's a great idea too. So I'm just barely, barely touching that there. I'm not like digging it in and, and trying to intentionally change the size. I'm just trying to poke through the, the varnish that's in there. And this does require some feel. So let me try and blow through that again. Now I'm in good shape again. Now that I know I'm 100% clean, I'm just purely out of curiosity yeah. see how that fits yeah so Dennis uh, man super rad idea for ones that would uh, that would work the one thing I'm noticing here this seems to be yeah, just seems to have a pretty damn sharp side edge on that. This would definitely be something that would take some uh, feel. I want to look at the profile of the... Right now I can see why I was feeling like that edge and I felt like I was going to maybe cause damage. Is this is flat. It's not round. So my concern with this would be scraping, you know, scraping the sides and actually, you know, causing some damage, if you will. If you use a small enough needle and literally just, you know, start to poke through, what I love about it, how sharp this is, and it's a nice handle on here. If you're just poking the, the first little bit to break up the varnish, I think this is great. And then I would go back to something like something a little less aggressive. Uh, because the problem with this is that it can just bend. And I think that was probably in the original video of the conversation is that you're just not getting any... Uh, traction like moving through like you're not making any progress where maybe this you know since it's nice and stiff would get it just started and then you could uh, start to keep putting carb cleaner through there and then work yourself to something that's not as rigid so all right friends there you have it there is a, uh, a fans uh, suggestion on what they did you know everything about this community that's awesome is people going hey here's something that's worked for me and here's something i do there and the one thing we gotta realize about youtube is that 
99% of the content we make isn't model specific. We're teaching skill sets here at How to Wrench. You know, we'll identify the model we're working on, so on, but sometimes an application works in one place and doesn't work in another, so on. So don't ever be afraid to send in uh, a comment or a suggestion on what you do, what that looks like. And it, it's really helpful if you talk about maybe the model you're working on or where you've used that. Um, so it can kind of make sense too, but um, this is cool, man. We love having this community. Dennis, want to give you a shout out to uh, taking the time to mail that over and uh, and uh, have a straight out. So pretty rad, man. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. I'm going to get back out in the shop and gone for a while here teaching and uh, looking forward to getting some wrenching done and getting the new uh, shop set up. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.